Thank you, Maharaj. One time, Srila Prabhupada, he said, I do not want the world to say the Hare Krishna people came, they chanted, they danced, and they went away. Therefore, build temples. This is the greatest temple that is being built in the center of the ISKCON movement, the birthplace of Lord Chaitanya, to the Gaudiya Vaishnavas is the same as Mecca is to the Muslims and Vatican is to the Christians. This center of ISKCON temple will be the greatest gift that we can give to Srila Prabhupada and our Acharyas who have worked so hard to establish Krishna consciousness in this Kali Yuga. In 1972, Srila Prabhupada, when he was celebrating his Guru Maharaja's Vyasa Puja, that was the year of the first Gorpurnima festival, and during his Guru Maharaja's Vyasa Puja, 20, 25 Western disciples were sitting. He was enthusiastically speaking of all the glories and activities of his Guru Maharaj, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami. In doing so, Srila Prabhupada paused and then he mentioned, he said, every Gorya Vaishnav Acharya has done something significant in Sri Dham Mayapur as their personal seva to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He cited examples. He said, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, who was such a dignified personality, a magistrate at the time of the British, he went door to door in Calcutta and begged money from 50,000 householders and built the birth site of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And that was his personal offering to Sri Chaitanya in Mayapur. And then Srila Prabhupada said, my Gurudev, in a very short period of 13 years, he built 67 brand new temples all over India. But he built the largest one in Sridham Mayapur at a time when no one was coming to Mayapur because that temple was my Gurudev's personal offering, his personal Shraddhanjali to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And then Srila Prabhupada paused again and became very grave. He folded his hands to his disciples and he said, I thank you very much, you boys and girls, for helping me to build this TOVP temple because I want to make this my personal offering to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Mayapur. Srila Prabhupada did not speak anymore, he profusely cried. This was our Srila Prabhupada's sentiment, a personality who has given us and the world everything, asked for one thing for himself, was this temple so he could make an offering to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It becomes our serious duty to contemplate on this, make a deep sankalpa in our hearts that if we have gained anything from Srila Prabhupada, it is our utmost duty to be able to fulfill this desire, make this temple together and offer it to Srila Prabhupada as our Guru Dakshina to a personality who has given us such beautiful Krishna conscious lives. I want to show you a seven minute video of some of our leaders who are also speaking on this TOVP project, the significance of this project and how important it is for all of us to participate, make our lives dhanya by coming forward and associating with this temple. And then I shall call upon <clears throat> our leader, Pragosh Prabhu, to speak in the language that all of you will be able to understand better than I have been able to speak. So all of us this evening, 
can go home happy that Srila Prabhupada and Lord Nityananda Prabhu, they chose us to be the ones to participate in this project, to make a sankalpa, make a sambandha, a relationship with Sri Dham Mayapur and this wonderful temple that is coming up presently in Sri Dham Mayapur. So please, here is a, are you ready? A seven minute video. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is just like moon. So we have established this temple, uh, Mahaprabhu Chandrada. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he appeared in this land of Mahaprabhu. Uh, therefore, he is said here as the moon. Therefore, he said Chandra, Mahaprabhu Chandra. Now, Sri Mahaprabhu Chandra is rising. Right. Rising means he is to distribute the moon sign all over the world. This is the idea. Moon sign. Don't keep Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu compact in your room. This is not required. You must allow Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to rise more and more so that this moon sign may be distributed all over the world. That is one. This temple of Vedic planetarium is a pole star. It is a compass for the world. This temple is a frontal assault on Maya. Because every particle of dust in Mayapur is infused with Lord Chaitanya's face. This is going to be one of the biggest temples ever built. Kirtan Hall alone will comfortably hold 10,000. Srila Prabhupada's desire was to build a house in which the whole world can live peacefully. Mayapur will turn the eyes of the world. People are becoming, they're just waiting when the temple is complete. Everyone will feel a revolution in their spiritual life. What to speak of those who actually contributed towards it. This is the greatest opportunity to do some seva for the most merciful Lord, Oranga Mahaprabhu. Oranga! So in 1976, I was in Detroit. We just finished buying the Bhaktivinata Cultural Center, Deva Sadan in Detroit, beautiful mansion. Prabhupada would come there. He'd come there twice mm -hmm. and really loved the house. And so we were sitting up in his room and he, and he said to me, he was describing the temple of the Vedic Planetarium. And he said to me, uh, how, what do you think about this project? And I said, oh, it sounds very nice. And so then he said to me, well, you can help finance and we had a big laugh because I just finished putting you know a couple of million dollars into the Detroit temple. Srila Prabhupada, he made such a sacrifice of traveling all over the world to give this blessing of pure love of God, Lord Chaitanya's gift. But it was always very much his focus to bring the world to Mayapur. Prabhupada's idea was that we need to have a, a big temple to attract people from all over the world. This is our world headquarters. We need to make a statement. It's a statement to the world. It's a statement to the devotees that, you know, Krishna consciousness is here to stay for at least the next 10,000 years. We've just had the Gorkhanin Festival of 2014. It was the biggest program ever. There were over 10,000 devotees participating in it. Even locally, uh, hundreds of thousands of people are coming to just visit this movement. Now, what is going to happen when this movement spreads further and further? Let thousands of devotees get together and sing the glory of the Lord. 
the Kirtan Mela also was part of the festival. And you just can't get enough people into the temple room anymore. You just physically cannot do it. You just cannot get them into the temple room. It's impossible. So we've come up with a fantastic building. The Kirtan Hall is an acre and a half in size, which is the largest Kirtan Hall in the world. We have about, um, you know, 80, 90 percent of the superstructure is finished now. Very grateful that His Grace Amrish Das has taken the temple to this stage. Now we need to finish it so that we can offer a Kassil Prabhupada as soon as possible. Srila Prabhupada established many, many centers in many, many places. But it was his desire that our whole movement, every devotee in every place, join hands together to build Sri Prabhupada. We want the entire Eastern world to get involved in this wonderful project. This is our time now. When we should all be together, sharing Prabhupada. Building this temple of Vedic Planetarium is a chance to do something meaningful with our life. It is a chance to serve humankind. It is a chance to serve the world. If we're really going to make Krishna consciousness movement count, then it means that we all have to take this responsibility and contribute. And contribute really means contribute by the results of our work. We have to give at least 10%, better 50% of our income, at least for as long as it takes to make this Temple of Vedic Planetarium stand completed. This is the last, really the last remaining major desire of Srila Prabhupada. I personally want to see it finished. I want to see the deities transferred over to their eternal home. So please, enthusiastically participate. My earnest appeal to everyone, Please take advantage of this opportunity. Let us come together with whatever resources we have to make this dream of Srila Prabhupada and our Acharyas a reality. Thank you very much. A port is a tried to construct a very nice temple of Harjitri. This morning we are thinking of it. No, from this place, this uh, moon, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, will distinguish. This is real enlightenment. People all over the world, there in darkness, uh, the moon sign will enlighten.